Welcome to one of the most charming cities in Japan. A destinations two days. Let's go. Hakodate is a charming port town in northern Japan, and it's celebrated for its historic western style buildings and its delicious seafood. Talking about seafood, we arrived here by a sleeper bus just in time for the morning fish market. We are at the fish morning market. Fish morning market, and we're early enough, 6 a.m. Let me show you some beautiful things. Is this very yummy? One, two, three, four. Then. One, two, three, four. Mm. Super tricky. 1,300. Mm. Good price. One of the more unique experiences in the fish market is to catch a squid by yourself and eat it raw. This has been always my dream to eat fresh squid in Hakola. Let me make your dream come true, me lady. Squidward, you're done. After a long time of failed attempts, I finally caught one, but uh, in the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> he squirted in my face. Okay, sorry. Put it up, put it up. Finally. This one is not for the faint of heart. After you catch the squid, you can watch as it is skillfully dissected and served to you fresh. I was very confused by what happened. Got squirted in my face. <laughs> they do squirt, but I got, I got it like, I got it in my eye. It was beautiful. So, are you gonna eat that? Never. Look, Bill, this is a manhole. Have you ever wondered why it's called manhole? Why are they not calling it woman hole? <laughs> After the morning fish market, we decided to venture to one of the most beautiful views in Hokkaido. What is happening right now? We are going out to Goryokaku Tower. But before the insane view, we heard about the best burger in town. Yep, she is definitely happy about that. Lucky Pierrot is apparently a must-visit fast food chain that originated in Hakodate and has now become well-liked across Japan. So why this restaurant is famous is because they always win the competition in Japan. You see there are so many things that says number one, number one, number one. We decided to go for their classic chicken burger with chips and cheese. Cheers. Why is this in a cup? So weird. Very weird cheese, I don't know. It doesn't taste like cheese. Now after eating more, this is decided that it's not worth it. You can you can come here and try it, but um, So how much would you rate? The whole thing. Five. Chips is not crispy. Cheese is not does not taste like cheese. Burger is yeah. It sounds like a golden rosy. It's like a very, very long schlong in the middle of the city. A very white long schlong. This star-shaped fort goes by the name of Goryo Kaku. It was constructed in the mid of 19th century and served as a symbol of Japan's opening to the world during the Meiji Restoration period. I guess you cannot really feel what I feel, but it feels very weird to stand here. Like I'm about to fall. My balls are tickling. It's very strange. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, look at this. Hakodate is a city celebrated for its historical significance as one of Japan's first ports open to international trade. Not only can you admire the fort, but you can also go down and explore it. Do you remember that we were there? When? 
a few minutes ago. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Now we're here. I thought you were talking about the past life or something. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, bro? <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Next up is Motomachi area, known for its historic churches, western style buildings and a very unique street. But beforehand, I really recommend visiting the Ainu Museum in Hakodate. The Ainu, indigenous to Hokkaido in Japan, are a distinctive ethnic group with a rich cultural heritage, unique traditions and a deep connection to nature. They used to have nicknames for kids because they believed that like in a weird and funny scary name wouldn't let the bad spirits to go inside the kid's body so the nickname would be like you know stinky fart or like you know penis erection or something really funny it's so weird in my opinion that we need to go to a museum right now to enjoy old school Aino culture because japanese people basically kind of like wipe them out no really makes me sad to be here. I was thinking the exactly the same thing. Yeah, in instead of right. actually meeting people in their natural environment, we just go to a museum. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> but that's the history of humanity, I guess. This street is so cool, isn't it? It's like... <sighs> the atmosphere. The reason you can see so many churches in Hakodate is due to it being one of the first port towns in Japan. There's a beautiful thing, the most famous um, street in Hokkaido. Yes. And it's supposed to be very beautiful, I'm not impressed at all. It's pretty cool, but... Uh, come here if you want. Any other street <laughs> while you're walking that way or that way gonna look the same well in retrospective maybe i was wrong it actually looks very nice and you can take some awesome pictures like this hopefully your pictures will be way better this is a local beer bar what you want to have a beer you it's want? actually not a bar they sell the beer local beer and we can drink it in our room so it's a local craft beer and everything is Hokkaido Hakodate beer you can choose whatever and then they will give you this container if you don't have your own yeah did I just break the towel? Shit. oh my god <laughs> sorry I jumped and everything broke beer review should you actually go to that place and buy that beer. This is West Coast Double IPA. Jeez. And uh, I chose Rauch. Rauch? Folks, I know everything about Rauches. Rauch. Not bad. But it's like... Not enough ga gases. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. It, it feels like it was open for a few hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four out of 10. Five. Let's try mine. Is the West Coast Double IPA? Ah, oh, smells weird. It smells like grass. More gases, but it's not the type of beer that I like. I think you will like it more. Try. It. The taste is kind of weird. Whiskey type of flavor, like a really smoky, mm -hmm. but really light and fruity as well at the same time. Yeah, it doesn't feel like eight percent, right? No, no. Okay, six out of ten. I would say seven actually for this one. Just letting you guys know, we are not beer person. I would guess that it would be a nice place to visit for craft beer person fans. Yeah. yeah. The place that we are reviewing the beers from is called the Kenamori Red Brick Warehouses, where you can see this spectacular view. Those brick warehouses are from about 150 years ago, and now they are used as stores, museums, and restaurants. This touristic area is definitely packed with everything you need souvenirs, clothes, jewelry, sweets, and food. If you have the chance to come to Hokkaido, definitely visit Hakodate. I'm so excited! Let's go! That was so fake. Welcome to the vlogging world. <laughs>